Chip Rowan with the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, and you are watching In the Know. For this episode, we are here at the Aaron's Building in Connorsville, and joining me is James Flynn. Hello, James. Hello, Chip. How are you today? I'm doing well, and I also have Rick and Janie Brooks. Hello, Rick and Janie. Hi. How are you? I'm well. How are you, Rick? Chip, I'm doing well, thank yeah. you. So we're here right on Pittsburgh Street. You may hear a little bit of noise, but it's busy in Connorsville, and that's a good thing. It's going to get busier, though. Definitely. Yeah, so you have an event coming up. Uh, you want to tell our folks about that event? And I think that was going to be you. Jane, you're Yes, it's going to the Spring Fling, and it's going to be on Thursday, March 21st at 7 o'clock here at the Aaron's Building. Excellent. And the Spring Fling uh, has, what, what does it benefit? Who benefits from It benefits uh, our Connorsville Parks and Recreation, and it's for the parks. Okay. This is the second year for that. Yes, it is the second year. And James, I think there's entertainment. You had a whole list of act activities that are happening that night, right? Uh, yeah, we do. Um, we have, uh, we actually have some great entertainment. We try to, most of it is, well, pretty much all of it is is, is local. Um, we're bringing back uh, Lori Palmer. She has been playing music for um, almost 45 years. She got her start here in Connorsville at Jimmy Stein's Lounge, and okay. she continues to play. Um, we have John Ricard. He is a still guitar player. He is um, actually he has traveled the world um, with Robert Randolph, uh, who's a famous still guitar player, and he's done a lot of studio work and recordings in Nashville, Tennessee. He will be joining us as well. We also have um, we also have uh, Dave Patrone. Okay. Uh, if everybody you know, Dave Patrone again is another uh, musician, another staple in Connellsville. Uh, he was in the band Punch for almost 40 years. One of his first bands was Smokestack, if you want to go back that far. And he has opened up for van, uh, other bands, such as the Vogues, um, the Skyliners, the Hubcaps. A lot of big names there. A lot of big names there. We so also, the last year, the event was like a lot of local talent. And you still have a local still connection. Local. We also have Dave Gasparo. Okay. Dave's a local businessman. Um, he's been with the band Fungus for 33 years. And he just finished his uh, third album of original music. So um, we've got it. We've got a great, great, ta great group, core group. And we also have some other surprises that we are working on, and hopefully, they come through. And you have a. I hear you have a great MC also. We do. Our MC this year is going to be Mr. Rick Brooks. Um, I'm very anxious and very, uh, very excited about that. Yeah, I'm excited about that too. So yeah, it's neat how much talent there is here in Connorsville, and it's, it's nice you can showcase that here. Exactly, that's what we're trying. That's that's what we want to do. Um, we want to keep it as community based as possible, and um, y there is there's just some fabulous musicians in Connellsville. And what and about this venue? Uh, you can't beat this venue. Um, the Irons Building is you know one of one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen, and yeah. especially in this area. So there's something about it in the evening too, when it when it's night, but when it's lit up yeah. and. People are dressed up, and you yeah. feel like you're in a city. And you do. It's a place yeah. to go. It's well, a we are in a city. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a bigger city. Bigger city. Exactly. New York. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Jane, if you don't mind, how much are tickets for this event? Uh, they're fifty dollars, okay. and we're going to have them at local businesses, um, Atkins City Hall, Dave Gasparro's Insurance Agency. Okay. Now, is there any information online about this? It it will be coming online next week. You can. Uh, Go to the Connorsville Park and Recreation Facebook page. Um, there will be um, some information in the courier. And if you need more information or tickets, you can call me. My phone number is 919-795-0112. Excellent. Um, and what do you get for the 50 bucks? So I spend $50 on a ticket. I don't know who wants to answer that question. What's included? Well, first you get to see us, okay. and that's a good thing. Yeah. We have will you have your hat on? Uh, I probably will, okay. or one of them. Okay. Uh, a, we get, we're get we having heavy hors d'oeuvres okay. and our local entertainment. Heavy hors d'oeuvres, do they get offended when, they, when you call them heavy? No, I don't think so. Okay, okay. Just, just check it. So the proceeds are going to be used for the parks. Yes. And talk, I know you have some exciting things. You always have some plans, what you're, how you're trying to improve Talk about that a little bit, please. Well, one of these things that our rec board is uh, working on now, we just got a grant from the Community de Development Block Grant. Okay. And it is uh, 
about two hundred and twenty dollars, two hundred and twenty thousand dollars, and we are trying to put in an inclusive park, and that's going to be up at Pinnacle Playground. And that's near the hospital, right? Yes, it's on East Fayette and North Jefferson Street. When James told me we were going to meet at Pinnacle, I wasn't sure where that was at. So I don't know how many people know that. that it is. It's yeah. it's on it's up on uh, East Fayette Street. You come up and make a lot, uh, right. Okay. Um, an inclusive park is they're great parks. They have handicap ramps and also steps. Uh, they're for all ages and all abilities. Uh, we're going to have a handicap parking spaces. We're going to have sidewalks going to them. It it's definitely you know playgrounds aren't only to develop muscles for the exercise. They also develop social skills, cognitive skills. Um, just, it's, uh, it's good to have the kids there. And I know for a fact, when we were going to the playground, you met so many people and you had so many friends and sometimes they're lifelong friends. So- It's a networking opportunity. It is. Yeah, it for, is. for kids. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, we're looking forward to this. Well, I know you don't have been doing a lot of work with the parks. I think you're getting new signs in a lot of the parks yes. too. Yes, yes, we are. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's with the event. That's is with the event last year. Been uh, the proceeds went to uh, a consistent um, uniform signage in all the parks okay. in Connellsville. Okay. Well, I appreciate the work that you've been doing with the parks, and it's Thank great you. to see you uh, improving them and providing opportunities for the kids to go out and play. I think last year we had a picture of you from one of the parks from uh, like <laughs> yeah, 19, 1952, I think it was. Yeah, no, it was, it was actually 53, Chip, 53. I think you were 52. <laughs> I think I was, yeah. Exactly. Well, if you don't mind, if, give the dates, uh, the date and the time again sure. and, and the ticket information. Okay, it's Thursday, March 21st, starting at 7 o'clock. And the tickets will cost $50. They will be at local businesses, uh, Dave Gaspar's Insurance, Atkins, and at City Hall. Excellent. And it's here at the Aaron's Building? That's yes. where it's, the location yes, where it's it going to be at? No tickets at the door? We sold out. We, sold. We, we did sell out last year. So if, if you're planning on it, um, I advise you to get your tickets as soon as possible. And the Facebook page again for more information? It's Gunnersville Parks and Recreation. Okay, great. Well, thank you, gang. Well, Wish you well you. on the event. Thanks for your work to keep things going here in the city of Connellsville. And now, you're in the know.